Hello everyone, this is a very, very long overdue ferret cam video. Uh, but this one is going to be uh, a little bit more Siri centric than usual. As some of you know, I recently went to the vet. I, I mentioned on uh, in the community tab that uh, I was taking Siri to the vet as I noticed a, a two lumps either side of her neck. My hope was that uh, these were just the ferret equivalent of tonsillitis, that her lymph nodes were a little bit swollen, uh, just as a sign of a mild infection. We'd be able to get some antibiotics for that. Unfortunately, uh, the vet, um, after examining her, let me know that this was probably, uh, or rather, realistically, it was lymphoma. Now, Lymphoma is kind of one of the big three health conditions that can develop in ferrets as they're getting a bit older. Siri is coming along now to her fifth birthday, and it'll be in about three months, I think. And both of her parents passed away around six, which is sort of in the, the normal range for ferrets. Six to eight is, is kind of normal for their life expectancy. For example, Aries and Athena's parents both lived until they were eight. And you do sometimes get ferrets living as long as like 12 or in rare anecdotal cases, as my uh, as my vet pointed out, that she has a patient whose uh, hob male ferret is 16, which is actually quite, quite freakishly impressive, uh, all things considered. But Siri is, you know, for all intents and purposes, starting to, to get on now. And um, this is... Well, it is a surprise, but it's not a very big one. The three conditions that can affect ferrets and, and become increasingly likely as they get older and older are lymphoma, which is a cancer of the lymphatic system, the system which is responsible for fighting off germs, insulinoma, and adrenal. The older a ferret gets, the increasingly likely that any particular health complication that they develop is going to be one of those three. Now, with lymphoma in particular, the symptoms are fairly varied. The chief amongst them would be behavioural. As, as with most animals, and indeed many humans, when they get sick, one of the clear signs is if they start behaving differently, perhaps doing things that they never used to do before, uh, having kind of mood changes, or shying away from things that they used to enjoy. There's also the visible signs. With lymphoma in particular, that would be lumps, though sometimes they might not be visible, but they would be kind of palpable. You could feel them when, when investigating, uh, though with, with Siri, it is visible. These sorts of symptoms can develop quite rapidly once the condition develops, or it can sit largely undetected for years, uh, and we won't know uh, with Siri, whether that's the case or not, until we get some information back from Bloods, which we've got an appointment for now in about two weeks' time. Other symptoms are general lethargy, so a lower energy, trouble breathing. Um, they, they might be put off their food, or they might have trouble going to the toilet. Now, very positively, the only symptom that Siri is expressing is the visible lumps. She has honestly elevated energy levels because she's just gone through her heat and she's now in her nesting phase, much to the dismay of her sisters because she won't leave them uh, alone, constantly pulling them back to the nest, as you've probably seen in previous Farrah Khan videos. And she is happy with her food. There's no difference in what she likes, what she doesn't like. She has no trouble eating, no trouble moving around. Another one of the, the symptoms, or perhaps a byproduct of the swollen lymph nodes, is yeah. they can get uh, they can become a little bit less mobile, have a little bit more trouble moving around. Siri has none of this, despite uh, despite the swelling. Uh, she's still hoisting herself into hammocks, hoisting her systems out of hammocks, leaping up and down uh, the cage and, and up and down me when she gets a chance. And uh, she's having no trouble going to the toilet. Now, the, the vet was particularly happy to hear that and, and said that that was a very, very good sign because it means that there's a decent chance that the cancer hasn't spread to any of her organs and it's just currently uh, causing her lymph nodes to swell. In that case, this might 
be uh, something that she can live with for quite a long time and won't really impact her life, um, depending on how the cancer moves around. Uh, we are currently treating her with um, some steroids, which should help reduce the symptom of the swelling whilst we're waiting on more information to find out just where it is. And, and uh, with that information, then we'll, we'll adjust the dosage and, and possibly look into, into uh, other um, things that we can do to try and help her with this. Though one of the, the primary uh, concerns and something I, I expressed to my, my vet is that my priority here is series quality of life. It can be very easy and very tempting to to want to extend life and, and to view having a longer life as, as having a quality all its own. But with something like this, especially for as, as feisty and as fiery uh, a personality as Siri has, I wouldn't want her to start to decline and to get slower through through the the application of certain more invasive treatments. Because in Siri's case, and, and in, indeed in the case of quite a lot of small animals, you'll often find that anything like surgery, anesthesia by itself, or indeed, you know, more invasive treatments can have quite a large impact on their life. Uh, the, the shorter an, uh, any kind of animal lives for, yeah. and the longer the recovery time with certain treatments, the larger part of their life is just going to be spent recovering from an illness rather than, than actually enjoying the time they have left. With small animals, sometimes you've got to be very aware that in some cases, the cure can be worse than the disease, as the, as the saying goes. So my priority with Siri is... Obviously, I would very much like her to be healthy and to live as long as she can. But if I can't have both of them, then I would like her to have a very, very happy life for however long that might be. And that does obviously, you know, mean that I might have to be sadder sooner. But if that means she can be happy for longer, then that's that's uh, an exchange I'm willing to make. Now, that was an awful lot of, of sad news all in one go. So uh, we'll switch over to some good news, and that is that the other ferrets are all doing fine. Uh, as far as as we can tell, they are all uh, they're, they're manic, some of them, because half of them are currently in a nesting phase, which causes a great deal of shenanigans, especially when two of them who are in the nesting phase are each trying to drag the other one to the nest. The same nest. They don't seem to understand that they're both going the same way, and if they would just stop struggling, then it would all be over with. But uh, they're all doing fine. I am going to, through obviously uh, an abundance of caution because Siri, Midna and Tally are all are all litter mates. They're already going to be booked in to uh, have a thorough checkup just to make sure. But overall, they're all doing fine. Uh, and indeed, all together, they're just as, as happy and playful as they ever were. Uh, their personalities are uh, the nesting phase, notwithstanding, just the same as they always have been. Tally is a massive toy thief and is constantly trying to steal all the toys away and stash them in various places, sometimes right in the middle of the room. Not quite sure how she thinks that that's hiding them away, but she seems to expect no one to notice or, or for the toys to then go wandering away as the other ferret decide to, to grab them. Midna is... Well, actually, she's becoming a little bit of a grumpy old lady. And uh, she is starting to stand up to Siri in ways that she didn't used to. Part of that is because I think she's just a, a little bit a uh, little bit nasty, but it's kind of more of a sympathetic nastiness because she hasn't had uh, heat recently, so uh, she shouldn't be feeling like she needs to take anyone to the net. I think she just feels left out that she isn't allowed to drag anyone around, so she is dragging people around, much to Siri's frustration. Uh, Athena is just as wild and uh, as as always, just climbing everything like she's some sort of spider ferret hybrid, which is <laughs> both terrifying and also incredibly cute mental image all at once. And Ares is his usual gentle giant self, just Benny lounging White. around most of the time until someone goes a step too far and then he is a dragon, or at least I'm sure in his mind, just a burst of energy charging up and down the room, just duking to to uh, great amusement and war dancing all over the place. But uh, that is going to be the end of this Farrakhan. I know, I, I hate to be the, the bearer of sad news, but take heart. Siri is 
absolutely fine in in terms of herself. She she's very very happy, very playful right now, and I will keep you all informed uh, as to any further development uh, in regards to her medicine. Actually, she seems to be doing very very well, better than the Lady Shabo I really expected. She has no problem taking it, which was my main concern with the medicine. Is is because Siri is more than any of the other ferrets, very particular about what she eats. If she isn't used to it, she doesn't want it, but she doesn't seem to mind. So either it's completely tasteless or the temptation of the salmon oil just outweighs the caution in her for whatever else is in the salmon oil, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But either way, she's she's doing fine with her medicine as well. But I will keep you informed. Keep an eye on the community tab section of my YouTube channel or on Twitter as usual. And hopefully I will be back again in... A a short little while with another ferret cam video just to uh, show you the progress hopefully the lumps will have gone down a little bit and her nesting instinct will be a little less pronounced so uh, she'll be a little bit more playful with her with her sisters rather than domineering but that is going to be it from me so as always i hope you enjoyed the uh, the clips obviously you know it's a bit of sad news here but uh, if you do have any questions uh, especially if you you want any further information regarding some of the things that i talked about here do let me know in the comments and i'll do my best to answer you or point you in the direction of online resources where i don't know the answer myself but until next time from myself and all the ferrets and of course Sheila and tilly even though tilly really didn't feature much in this take care everyone